Second item of business, I understand that you have passed a resolution uh, that you'd like to see four-year terms for rural <coughs> councillors uh, here in the province of Saskatchewan. I want to tell you that uh, the Minister of Municipal Affairs, Jeremy Harrison, reported that to me and me to uh, end the caucus immediately yesterday, and we're going to move with haste on that and make that change as soon as we can. We will be doubling the term of rural councillors, and uh, maybe we'll sneak the MLAs into that bill too. I'm not sure. <laughs> but for sure the councillors, for sure the councillors. We want, when it comes to rural issues, to be a, a, a government that is more than words that is more than rhetoric, that is more than speeches. We want to be a government about action on the issues that this body has brought forward in this province now for years, and in some cases for decades. And we are aided in this effort, I can tell you, our government is by the caucus that we have. Our roots in rural Saskatchewan are deep and are true when you look at our caucus. But I submit to you the record that included weeks after we got elected a $90 million loan program for the cattle industry. And when then the industry said, look, we don't need another loan, just a few, well, more than a few months later, but sometime later we were there again with a per head payment. The agricultural land sales program has been constructed in concert with aid groups and with the council and the advice of SARM. The gopher control rebate program is another example. The improvements to crop insurance that we continue to try to make under the leadership of Bob Benrod, again with the council of people in this room and your board who are very active on this file. The cost sharing program for, for water infrastructure in the province. The relocation of agri-stability from Manitoba to the province of Saskatchewan. The doctor shortage was big in the province, was acute in the province. And we promised to expand the training seats at the University of Saskatchewan College of Medicine to get them up to 100. They have been at 60 for a long time. The previous administration had moved them to, well, just under 70, I think, and we're at 84 now, on our way to keeping the promise of 100. We promised 120 residencies. That would be a doubling of the number of residencies in the province. And we are well on our way to achieving that goal, well over 100 now residency positions in the province. That's important, delegates, because in order to keep graduates here. In order to keep doctors in the province, we need to provide more residency training here in the province so we can more easily and readily recruit them. We've listened carefully to the priorities and concerns around doctor retention and recruitment. Under a year ago, we released a new comprehensive physician recruitment strategy. We've established a physician recruitment agency and while we know the problem is still there, while we know we have not deal dealt we're not finished dealing with this issue. I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that notwithstanding what others may be saying, even in the public debate today, we have not had a decrease in the number of doctors. Since 2007, the number of doctors in the province has increased by 164. 72 more GPs and 92 more specialists. That is action. And we need to do more. I'm sure we'll be hearing about that throughout the morning. But it is action. In terms of our nurse retention rates, we have gone from the worst rate in Canada, the worst rate in Canada a few years back, to the very best rate in the country. If we work with you, we know we'll be getting a lot of good common sense advice as well, and direct advice. I'm reminded of the, I read a story about a talk show host getting a call from a, a woman who uh, had a skunk under her porch. She was looking for some help. And the talk show host said, you know what you need to do, you need to get some bread and make a trail of bread from the porch to the garden. She phoned back a few days and thanked me because now she has two skunks under her porch. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to be the government that presents common sense solutions for the people of the province so that we can keep the skunks from uh, being underneath the porch. <laughs> we want to keep the buzz going in, in, in the country about our province. I saw it at the Olympics. I saw the buzz at, at our pavilion and at other pavilions. Frankly, the chairman of Van Ock was talking about the Saskatchewan Pavilion, so was Premier Campbell. We, there was quite a few amazing, there was quite a few stories there that were pretty amazing at our pavilion. On the third day, our pavilion ran out of beer. <laughs> I know this because we toured the Molson House there where you, that you saw on TV, or maybe you were there, uh, where a lot of people watched the game, and they reported that on the third day, Saskatchewan came over and said, we've been so busy that, you know, we need some beer. Well, we're in Molson House, so sure, we'll get you. They fixed that. We, we, we benefited from the fact that our pavilion was next to Quebec. 
because Quebec didn't put a roof on their pavilion. <laughs> And I, I told Premier Shere when we were meeting in Washington just before that, I said, because we had heard about the pavilion, I said, you know, it's Vancouver and it's February and it's kind of rainy. And so thank you very much because business is booming at the Saskatchewan Pavilion right next door. We want to keep the buzz going, ladies and gentlemen, about the province. And so we're prepared to make the decisions that we believe are important in that. And in order to keep that buzz going, we understand that the growth has to continue to occur in rural Saskatchewan, and for that to happen, it has to be the infrastructure. So we'll count on your counsel, and we'll count on your advice, and we'll count on the accountability, frankly, that comes from this organization. And we will keep this province moving forward. And may God bless us as we each try to do that. Thank you, and have a, have a great morning.